Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honey Bee Stamps, and today I am back making a card that's full of coffee. And we are going to be using this coffee background stamp set. It's called Coffee Background Stamp. <laughs> We're also going to be using the Treat Yourself stamp set along with the matching dies. We're also going to be using some Tim Holtz oxides here, some browns, you know, coffee goodness. We're going to use a little bit of green to get some Starbucks in there and then some black and white paper. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this background stamp stamped out. And I'm basically going to put the paper here in my Misty. And then I'm going to take the different browns that I have and just cover the whole stamp until I get it nice and coffee looking. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in my Misty. And we're going to take all those different browns and we're just going to stamp, stamp, stamp. I did this about three times. Um, my camera's a little shaky. I have a new setup, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how to make it less shaky, but hopefully it's not making it too sick. But anyway, so we have that stamped out. We're going to stamp it out one more time here. I did stamp it about a total of three times. And then that's going to be our coffee background there. I did stick that to the back of the Misty with some temporary adhesive there. Now I'm going to cut this down to be uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I do that from each side because I'm crazy. And then we're just going to um, cut the mat on this and we're going to go ahead and get that cut to be a little bit bigger than that. I don't really measure it. I just kind of eyeball it. And then we're going to go ahead and get that glued down with some honeybee stamps glue here. And then once we have that, the, the panel will be finished and then we'll move on to the actual pieces of the card. So I got that down, woo, nice and even. Love it, checking my hands for ink. Um, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this coffee cup stamped out. Well, that piece, that side was dirty so I flipped it over and just used this. And if you don't know, that's that little shape is from the last card that I did for you guys um, on the channel. I'm going to go ahead and get this stamped out and just to let you know I was gone for a few weeks because my dog gazelle passed away and I needed to take some time off to um, handle that situation and you know uh, to heal the heart and uh, just be able to move forward so I needed some time off and I really appreciate um, everyone that messaged me regarding her and honeybee stamps for working great you know giving me the opportunity to do that. So basically what I'm going to do here is take some warm Copics and I'm using 0, 1, and 3 or 0, 0, 1, and 3. And I'm basically just using um, them and making it kind of round on the cup. And then for the top, I'm using a cool Copic, which is a C00, C01, and C03. And I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm just flicking it over into the center to make it look like the light is in front of the cup. I'm not an expert at this. I just kind of play with it until good things happen. <laughs> so once we get that cup done, um, we're going to go ahead and get that die cut out. But I do color the sleeve. Um, I used several browns on this, but it took me a little bit to do it, and I did not want to talk through that whole thing, so um, I did use some browns to do the coffee cup sleeve. So we're going to go ahead and get this cut out with a matching die. These dies are amazing. Ugh, love them. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and get the sentiment stamped out. And I thought I would just put it on a piece of green paper to make it, you know, Starbucks-y. Is that a word? Um... And we're just going to use a sentiment from the uh, stamp set and um, go ahead and prepare my paper here so that the powder doesn't stick to it. And we'll go ahead and use some uh, watermark ink here so that we can go ahead and get this um, heat embossed. Um, so we go ahead and get that stamped out. I don't show you the heat or the heat embossing part. I just show you the end here. We all know how to pour powder on the heat embossing and all that great stuff. Now I'm going to take the matching die to the sentiment and I know I say this every time but the matching dies are like the chef's kiss um, with honeybee because they have a die pretty much for any sentiment um, that they come out with and it's amazing. Cuts out perfect every time. Never uneven. I love it. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and pop these bad boys up. 
um, with some 3M foam tape here and we'll go ahead and remove the backings and then we'll go ahead and get those placed onto the card here. I'm doing it a little slow. I guess I could be a little faster. <laughs> um, you guys, these voiceovers can get a little crazy sometimes, so I just had to do a little bit of editing. But anyway, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get some little um, jewels on here to make it little sparkly sparks and um, make it look pretty. And I'm just going to use some of the um, gem stickers. This is from Fresh Brew or Freshly Brewed or Fresh Brewed. I can't read it because the light's in the way on the, um, on the packaging. But, um, you know, coffee everything. I was actually thinking about gluing a coffee bean onto this, but I didn't. I didn't, you know, spared the time. Um, so we'll go ahead and get those on there, and then we're going to go ahead and get the card glued down. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting Honeybee Stamps. Please head over to their website and check out all their goodness. They do have a new release coming out. It's a birthday celebration. We're so excited. We can't wait to show you everything that they'll be that they'll have, and they're having a big celebration. Um, it's I enjoy working with Honeybee Stamps so much, and I truly appreciate everyone that watches these videos as well. Please make sure you follow them all on social media, and you can follow me on social media too by searching for Bromero Cards on YouTube, which you're watching it, so you probably know. And then on Instagram, check out some of my other cards that I make there. So thank you very much. You all have a great week, and we will talk with you later. Bye.